Want to add bubbles to your Liquid Sims in Cinema 4D? Check this out. So when you're happy with your Liquid Sim, you're going to duplicate both the basic emitter and the particle group with the Liquify object that are making up the entire Sim. So in that duplicated emitter, you are going to bring down the rate of emission down quite a bit. And to make sure the bubbles stay inside the liquid, we're going to take that emitter size and scale it down. And then another thing we can do to help keep the bubbles inside is to increase the density just a little bit higher than the density of the main liquid. So now you have that second emitter emitting bubbles. And if you select that bubble particle group, you can then see those bubbles being highlighted there. And finally, we need to then clone some spheres to those particles to create our bubble. So we're gonna grab a cloner object, add in a sphere, bring that sphere radius down, and then we'll clone these onto the object. And the object's gonna be that particle group, not the emitter. And now you'll see the spheres are inside the liquid mesh. And now what we need to do is create a bubble material. So we'll create a new material. This will be bubble and we'll apply it to the cloner. Now go to the base properties of your material, bring down the diffuse weight. You're gonna bring up the transmission. And then the key thing to change here is the IOR. You're gonna to wanna to change it to one. Next, let's add some randomness to our bubbles by adding in a random effector and then change the parameter from position to scale, check on uniform scale. And to fix the lag that you see with the cloner object, go to your scene settings by hitting Commander Control D and checking on simulate before generators and that'll get rid of the lag. And there you have it, some bubbly bubbles inside of your liquid sim. To learn more about Cinema 4D liquids, be sure to check out my full tutorial over at School of Motion.